for breakfast. There was the Continental. I just had a, some eggs and that, that chicken sausage that just tastes like a hot dog. Let's see uh, another movie. Near the theater, there was a arcade with like a karaoke booth and stuff like that. And I was tempted to go in, but um, I only had like 20 minutes to kill, and I didn't know what kind of music they'd have in the karaoke. And I can't, I don't feel as comfortable doing karaoke solo when I'm sober. It's the same chain of theaters, but this one actually had air conditioning, which I thought was be good, but actually it was like really cold. Um, and then the movie, the English name is uh, Bad Genius. Basically, it's like a, it's almost like a heist movie about um, like cheating uh, high school midterms and college entr entrance entrance exams. It's funny, but like really stressful too. <laughs> this hostel is interesting. Have laundry but they don't have a dryer so you have to use the clothes lines which actually my clothes dry pretty quickly so technically I could do without clothes clothes line I, I put up my shirt and pants since I'm gonna be up here anyway so I'm on the roof the Wi-Fi is kind of unusable in the rooms so I pretty much have to either be on the roof or in the lobby and I couldn't find any plug um, but I was talking to someone else who's staying here and he said that it's in a locker which I thought I looked like there's a locker inside the capsule or the, the bunk and uh, I didn't see the plug but I'll have to double check um, then the lamp isn't as bright. Uh, they do provide towels, which is good. And then the showers are on like a different floor than the rooms. And the showers themselves are a little unusual that like you step up and then it's basically like a flat surface. I don't know why they have it on a raised surface like that. So I checked in around like three. I wanted to find a place to get a small lunch, so I was checking different cafes. And this is an area where it's like weirdly expensive for just basic snacks. Eventually I went into this um, little cafe and I got a uh, some kind of spinach uh, pastry and a, uh, like a strawberry jello smoothie where it had like jello on the bottom and that was good. There was like a grocery store that was connected to it and it was basically like a like a basic Walmart. So it's kind of nostalgic because I've always, or for the most part, I've usually lived really close to Walmarts or shopping centers like that. And they had a lot of unusual things out, like they just had like chickens just sitting out and uh, cuts of meat just sitting out in the open air. I checked to see if they had any kind of uh, small, like microfiber towel that I could use. Um, they didn't have any microfiber, but they had a like um, a chamois or whatever. I got a pack of those, and I tried using one in the shower. It was decent enough. It's not as it. it I don't know. It doesn't work as well as microfiber, but it's cheaper and takes up less space. I worked in the lobby area for a little bit, like so I can't really do much work from the bed itself. And then for dinner, I went uh, down the road a little bit to this, uh... What the fuck was that? <laughs> I saw these weird little... It's hard to tell without my glasses, but I saw these little lights pulling down. It's aliens. There's a kind of a... It's like the whole restaurant is basically uh, al fresco. So I got uh, some soft shell crab, and that was a whole thing, because <laughs> like I was just pointing to it on the menu, and then she was like saying no, and then um, it's like I had to order it in a different way, and it was like twice as expensive. The uh, crab was it was good. Yeah, it wasn't that filling, but um, all right. and then it was uh, served with uh, garlic. And so like after I was done, I was like scooping up. I thought it was like crumbs of uh, tempura or whatever, but I realized that I was just like eating little tiny cloves of garlic. There was like a thing that's sort of a um, concert area connected, or was, I think it was a part of the restaurant, but I could hear it, but I couldn't see it, and then I thought it was a different place, so when I was done, I walked over there, and then I didn't get any service, and I realized it was the same place, I just left. There's a lot of 
cover songs here. Like, uh, even songs that are, like, popular in the States right now, it's like, I don't hear the original version very often. It's more just a cover version. Like, it's even to a point where a couple days ago on the radio there was, like, a cover of Happy Birthday. And then twice now I've heard covers of uh, George Michael's uh, Careless Whisper. Once at a cafe and once at the... <clears throat> once at a cafe. And uh, once uh, uh, tonight. <clears throat> God damn. There's a brewery down the road. I only had one beer at. It was actually really good, but it was just... It was really expensive. Like, they served it in, like, a wine glass. And it was, like four dollars for the one like which for the same kind of thing in the states would be like eight dollars so it wasn't expensive but it's like i don't know you kind of get spoiled paying for stuff here if a meal costs more than five dollars you're like i don't know tomorrow i have to wake up kind of early going up to uh ayutthaya and then um kind of going northwest from there probably my last night or so in bangkok all told getting from where i am now to where i want to be eventually is gonna be like a 12 hour trip that's why i'm stopping in Ayutthaya and a couple stops along the way so I don't have to do 11 hours at once each time but uh it's still gonna eat up a lot of time getting there so I'll probably be getting back here around like Wednesday or Thursday next week because then my flight is Saturday afternoon to Vietnam I'm just gonna kind of take a gamble and hope that when I get to the train station tomorrow it's not like super packed and if anything it's only like the first leg of the trip is only be like two hours, so worst case scenario, I have to stand up for two hours, which sucks, but it's just weird randomly planning a cross-country trip <laughs> like a day in advance. Okay, good. I was getting really tired, and I just realized it was 11, so it's, it's okay for me to be tired. Um, anyway, um, so until tomorrow.